you're living in Brooklyn now. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Brooklyn? Um, well, I grew up on Long Island, and I've been living in Brooklyn for about seven years now. And, um, you know, there's no real place for us when we grow up. There's no place for us to go and live when we want to move out of our parents' places. And um, because Long Island doesn't have apartment buildings, really, it has... You could like live in some family's basement or something like that. Um, so Brooklyn or Queens or Manhattan is where we all go um, to start our new life and stuff. And um, Brooklyn's amazing just because there's tons of rad musicians, and I have, we have such a huge community of friends and artists and musicians and DJs and graffiti artists and poets and all these people that are really creative. And we all chill really hard, and we all kind of. Um, bounce ideas off of each other and kind of kind of made a little bit of a community for ourselves. I mean, there's a bunch of different communities there. I mean, there's obviously the the whole Brooklyn indie rock scene with TV on the radio and, you know, Yay Sayer and all these MGMT and stuff. But we have our own little community of more kids that grew up on hardcore music and punk music that are playing, you know, what we all play now. And... Um, it's just a solid, solid community of, of people to uh, people to kind of you know get influenced by and to influence and to be like yeah maybe you should do this and oh what do you think about this and I don't know it's a it's a musical environment. Is there? Oh, I should have just said it's a musical <laughs> environment and say. I think I got it. <laughs> Is there anybody specific that we should be checking out? R really underground people. Um, there's an artist called Ivana XL. Um, who, for some reason, isn't gigantic right now. Um, she definitely has a a uh, a Cat Power, Regina Specter. Not really though. She has her own thing uh, thing going on. She's really rad. Um, uh, our like brother band, um, who is our brother band, but they're nothing like us. They play like doom metal. But they're really good and they blow everyone away and they're doing quite well for themselves. They're called Hull. Um, who else is in Brooklyn that's fucking doing shit? Um, there's a band also called Money Paper Hearts that um, is another one of our like brother bands and they do really good work and they um, they kind of are more like a, maybe a jawbreaker, misfits, social D type experience. Um, I would say gym class heroes because that's our, also our New York City boys, but I don't think that I think everyone pretty much knows about them. I think so. <laughs> but they're also part of our peers and people that we, you know, um, collaborate with. You know. Since you're so tall, I am eye level with this necklace. I have I'm to ask. I'm, what no it is. I'm noticing that the camera's going. Doosh, doosh, <laughs> doosh, doosh. Um, this is an. Oh yeah, I could big up another one of our artist friends. Uh, this is made by a, a, a girl called Vera. Um, she has a website called Vera Meat, V E R A M E A T dot com, and she makes a bunch of rad jewelry. Awesome. Um, and she, yeah, she's one of those people on the fringe of our, you know, she's a friend that I made um, in the whole Brooklyn weird community. And um, she's, it's just another thing where you're like, all right, so there's poets and musicians and graffiti artists and rock and rollers and. DJs and jewelry makers and um, but yeah she made this thing and it's this dude with a paintbrush on a ladder and uh, okay. his name's Pedro this thing's fucking rad man it's uh, very cool I, I'm not much of a jewelry purchaser but when I ran into her uh, purchaser buyer and yeah, when I ran into her I was like yeah I'll take that <laughs> 